about our division. Now, as far as our division goes, there's plenty of people to be beaten up. But I have to say, defend or vacate. That's what I've always been saying. If you don't hold that belt for a certain amount of time, you got to let it go, son. And if you don't want any more, and you're going to just hold it up a little bit more, you got to let it go, son. You're holding on to something that's just not there. You don't want a piece of me, and you don't want a piece of the Khabib or Team Tiramisu. I mean, literally, if you want a trilogy with Nate, I mean, fuck it. Drop the belt and go down a couple fucking fighters. Because seriously, we're all tired of this shit. You want go make your money that's fine in this interview tony ferguson is talking about conor mcgregor and this is when conor mcgregor was gonna fight floyd mayweather and he left the ufc for a bit so yeah he's talking about how conor mcgregor he was talking khabib which is not true because after he had a fight with floyd mayweather he came back had a fight with khabib and yeah i mean he kind of lost motivation after the floyd mayweather fight because he got a bunch of money, so against Khabib, he didn't train that well. But I mean, overall, Khabib is a better fighter, more dominant and all that. But I mean, if Tony Ferguson and Conor McGregor did have a fight, who do you guys think would have won? I'm talking about Prime uh, Tony Ferguson and Prime Conor McGregor. I think Prime Tony Ferguson was pretty good, but Prime Conor McGregor was just one of the best fighters we've ever seen. But yeah, you can't count out uh, Prime Tony Ferguson. He was an amazing fighter as well. It would have been a good fight. One of the best fights we've seen.